here's to all my fellow legends that decided to make prime rib this Christmas instead of turkey. And let me tell you something, the leftovers are where it's at. Now let's go! All right, nice chunk of cold prime rib. My brother made this, he actually smoked it. Amazing. So, let's take off this cap, check the grain, and basically, I'm gonna slice this pretty darn thin. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this makes the absolute best sandwiches. Better than the prime rib itself, I swear, I swear. And what I want you to do, all this fat's gonna fall off. Just take some of that and set it aside, just like a tablespoon or so. Now I'll just slice the rest. Some nice bread, whatever you prefer. And I'm going epic today, so I'm gonna make a giant sandwich and then take it to my family. Something like that. That's gonna be my piece. Then I'll just slice this right in half. A lot of holes in that bread. Well, we'll make it work. Now, before we continue on, I'm just gonna slice a little tomato. So when we build the sandwich, we're ready to go. And I'll put a little arugula in a bowl as well. Now just lay out your tomatoes like this. A little bit of salt, so important. Sergeant Gilbert! That's just black pepper, straight on. And I'm happy to let these sit for five minutes while I do the rest. Now I'm just gonna butter up this bread with a little unsalted room temperature butter. Heats a little over medium. I'm just gonna toast my bread over here, put a little pressure just to help that crust form in the beginning and help that bread hold its shape. Another pan over here that's on high heat. I'm just dropping in that fat I saved. Now that's rendering down so fast. I'll let that get nice and crispy. No point and even taking it out. It's delicious, a lot of flavor. Okay, pan's all greased up. We gotta add our beef. We gotta work really quick here. We don't wanna turn this all gray. We're just trying to warm it through, render a little fat down. Just a little touch of salt if it needs it. Use rosemary salt if you want, if you know you know. I'm telling you, my friends, this is the way to do this. Keep moving it, keep it pink, warm it through. All right, right there, we're gonna pull it. Literally 45 seconds in the pan, done. Still nice and pink, but it's all warm. Okay, about four minutes on the bread. We're looking for a nice golden brown crunch like that. Whew. Okay, last thing, just a little arugula. Just using one of my favorite vinaigrettes here, just a touch. I'll put a link in the corner to that, really easy to make. And this is important, important, important in my eyes, because this brings the acidity to the dish, as well as the mayonnaise you'll see in a minute. Going in with a little homemade garlic mayo. I'll put a link in the corner, but you can just use whatever mayo you have, you know? Not a big deal, although this is delicious. Nice layer, gotta be a little careful over here. Unfortunately, this bread's a little too rustic, and so they let some big air holes form in here, but that's all right, it's really good bread. Now. Tomatoes going up here. Our beef, just unbelievably perfect going on the bottom, just stacked. You know, if you wanna put cheese or whatever, go for it. Videos like this, guys, are just hoping to like inspire you to like go make it with whatever you have in your fridge, you know what I'm saying? Arugula up there, take a little time to make sure that's stacked. Now, we'll just go ahead and cap it up. Slight pressure. And the most exciting part, the slice. Yo, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Kidding me? You know what I'm saying? It's glorious. We all know how this is gonna go. Dude, come on. Yeah! All right, my friends, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a fun night with the family. And until next time, you know I love you and I'm out.